everybody. Um, thank you for tuning in. It's been a uh, real honor to just, you know, be on YouTube and have people comment and like things that you're doing. So I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I really do appreciate all of the sincere, you know, comments and uh, just community that's being generated based off the videos that I've created. So I want to continue that. I want to just try to help people to understand what VEX is really about. We're also going to be doing a video on what's called Skills USA, um, something that I do with my kids to not just allow them to learn about themselves, but also too about what it means to really succeed in the workplace. Many kids go into VEX Robotics thinking that they get to choose sometimes who they're with as a teammate. And I want to kind of touch on that. There was a, a question that was given um, one of the videos, and I want to read that to you guys from M. Diaz. And I want to thank you, M. Diaz, for actually uh, commenting on the video. I really appreciate it. it. It brought to light a few things because those are some things that my students struggle with too, with new people. Okay, so the comment reads, Hey Summer Nomad, I have a question. I have experience in VEX, but this year I've been put in a team with teammates that are new to the project. What advice can I give them to prepare them for the pressure of a VEX tournament? Thank you for submitting the question. I also want to thank uh, Cryptic, Z Cryptic, for your response to MD's question. Um, which was, to be completely honest, there's no real way to, for you to prepare them for the pressure of a competition. What I'd recommend is that instead of mentoring them, you help them learn on their own and enable them to do the best they can. Speaking more practically, I'd say you should go to a competition just to watch and point out to them the fast-paced movements of the best teams there. And he says, hope I help. Um, he's absolutely right. I think the one thing with, with Vex is you can have all the experience in the world building. You still have to go onto the field and react and make decisions based off of what your opponents are doing sometimes and what your robot is capable of doing. And that's not as easy as coming in and saying you're going to build the, the best robot. A lot of times the greatest robots built aren't the greatest ones that are actually played with in the field simply because the people who are using the robots aren't as good driving them. And that's a sad fact, but um, that's mainly the, the problem is you build an awesome robot, but you really need to have time to spend with it and to know the ins and outs and what to do in certain situations. Because to be honest, we practice all the time and there's still things that happen within the game field up against really good teams that we just can't react quick enough because we can't prepare for them. So great question. Um, the other thing that I would say is always be encouraged. Always let your teammates know that you just that you value their their friendship. Um, because the main thing is is you don't want to spend time by yourself building this robot. You want as many hands as possible. You also want your teammates to be involved because you know what happens if you're not able to go to competition. It happens, and you want to be able to have someone next to you who's able to pick up the slack. You guys don't skip a beat at all, you're able to come in and, and do the same thing as you were when you were there. So, um, great questions. If you have any other questions too, it's not just for me. I like that people post things and of their experiences with Vex because it kind of helps. Um, I didn't realize that so many people were actually watching, but not only that, but so many people actually look at the comments. Um, and respond to them and say, hey, you know, this is what I do with my team, this is how successful my team is. That's great, you know, I love the success, but I also want it to be practical in the sense that I want people to learn from these videos and to take away from, take away something that they like and to use with their own teams and to just be encouraged. So the next thing I want to talk about is um, Google. I was able to gain a spot for our team to compete in Mountain View, California. We're from Southern California, uh, but Mountain View, California is up near San Francisco, and our middle school team was able to get a spot, I think a 24, 25 team, uh, to compete at Google's uh, campus, which is sweet, it's awesome. Uh, not to say that our team is great, or the greatest team on the face of the earth. I wanted to give our students an opportunity. I'm thankful that administration was behind it. Um, and we're able to go. This is what it actually looks like. I'm not sure that uh, any of our students have ever been there. I've never been there. 
Um, but it looks pretty cool. It's a VEX sanctioned event and uh, there's a possibility that if they do win, uh, that they can move on to the state championship as well as the, uh, create US Open, which is going to be great. I just want them to have opportunities to be able to be successful and have a chance. Everybody who's in VEX knows there's no guarantee that you'll win in every single day to fight to try to win, even when there's great teams. So I imagine us going up there is going to be some awesome teams and we just you know, have to prepare to, to, to do well and to compete. But that's it. I apologize for not posting more videos more frequently. Believe me, you will get a ton of them. Uh, we're going to be competing at another contest, competition called uh, Skills USA, which um, doesn't necessarily only have to do with robotics, it has to do with a whole lot of other stuff, which I'm going to make a separate video for that. So that way, any uh, teachers that are watching or administration that is watching, and you would like your kids to be involved in career development uh, contests that kind of enrich who they are as a person and their career path and their ability to be um, self-sustaining. These, This particular competition is extremely well-rounded and extremely valuable for them as well as their parents in their ability to instruct their kid and help their kid along to be successful in life. So we're going to be competing in that in January and it should be a fun time. I'm going to post a bunch of videos about that soon, but stay tuned. I appreciate everyone who subscribed. I appreciate that. My students appreciate that and have an awesome day. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys later.